Then the next thing is going to be CC composite. Drop that down. Change it to stencil alpha. And then grab one more CC composite, drop it on the bottom, and change it to add. And then switch this to off. And there we go. Magically, it looks great. So basically, so you can see what I was talking about, because that wasn't really making sense, I don't think. But basically what it's going to do is add little lightness according to the background on the edges. So it's just going to make it blend in a little bit better. Now this is going to render fairly slow. I mean, it's already rendering slow, but so make it go any even slower. But anyway, that's going to help kind of blend it into the background. Now, obviously, he does not look well lit compared to the background, so we're going to put a levels on. Let me just minimize these effects. Alright, levels will just darken him. Alright, that's about good. And now we're going to add an adjustment layer on the background to change that a little bit. Drop that below the Alpha Soldier. And then add levels. And just crush it a little bit. Make it a little more exciting. Um, you can play around with it to make it look right, but for now it looks pretty good. So we're going to take this project and we're going to drop it into a new project. So the next thing to add is going to be um, our camera shake. Because as you saw in the original example, the camera moves around and that really adds to it, it makes it look a lot more real because when he's just standing still you can tell he's shot in a blue screen so to do this, well there's a couple ways to do this um, usually I would just add a camera shake but to make this really look organic and real I took um, other footage and motion tracked it and then took that same null object and linked it into this footage so don't ask me why I used this. Just shot in California, some buffaloes. But anyway, so I motion tracked it. Um, if you don't know how to do that, go to Window, Tracker, select the footage, track motion, take your target, select some bright spot so that the, cam the computer can stay on it. I took the horn, but you could take really anywhere. So you stick it somewhere that will track well and I'm not going very into depth. There's plenty of tutorials on motion tracking. And then just hit analyze forward and that will basically track your footage. But I already did that so I'm not going to use that. And I have my null object here with the tracking data. So track the footage you want to use and then get the null object the tracking data attached to it. So it's like this. And then copy the null object and paste it into this composition. So there it is. And now we're going to parent this alpha layer to the null object. So now it's rendering horribly slow. Let me change this. Now the footage mimics the footage here and so it kind of gives it a natural camera shake because that was actually real camera shake so one thing you're going to want to do is turn on the motion blur and the comp motion blur that's going to make it really really slow so I'm not going to do that right now but make sure when you render it to have the motion blur on um, obviously you can tell that the footage is moving outside of the plate so um, there's better ways to fix this, like mirroring the edges, but I just scaled it up because I didn't want to deal with that in the 
quality is still going to be plenty good. So just scale it up enough so that the footage all stays inside, which it looks like it does. Alright, that's good. So now obviously you can tell right here my legs are cut off. So instead of trying to fix that some complicated way, I'm just going to make an adjustment layer and add a letterboxer. Now this doesn't come with After Effects, but there's simple ways of doing this, like just adding two black solids in and masking it out. I'm sure you can find plenty of ways to do it. Anyway, I just did that so that my legs weren't showing, and that's kind of a nice effect anyway to have those boxes there. Alright, so now that we have those, we kind of want to mess with the overall image to make it a bit more exciting. So I'm going to make another adjustment layer. And we're going to add CC rays. Okay, maybe not rays. Light rays. Yes, CC light rays. We're going to drop that in. And we'll move these below the null object. All right. Organize here. Add those below. Letterbox can go on top. And this can be our tracker. Okay. So the rays. Basically, what this does is it takes any bright spots plugin and it'll make rays. And I thought this was kind of sweet. So I stuck it in the bright spot by the sun and ramped up the intensity. And again, you can kind of mess with this. The nice thing about this effect is that if you don't track this with your footage and just leave it, the rays will actually change because they'll go through this tree a little bit and it makes it look like the sun's actually there. So see when it hits the trees kind of makes it look like real sun rays so I didn't I mean you could track the um, the center of it to the tracker so that it stayed exactly next to this tree the whole time but then the rays wouldn't really change so if you just stick it in your bright spot and leave it it'll change and make it look really sweet um, one more thing I did was added another adjustment layer and then a glow. It's probably plenty glowy enough, but just for fun. Change the radius, the threshold, and don't overpower the footage. Right now, this is kind of overpowering. Should probably drop the rays a little bit. But that's about good. So that is about it. Obviously, you have to touch things up, like my legs stick through. I saw it somewhere there. So you have to adjust things a little bit. But essentially, this is what I did. I also added particles, as you can see here. But um, essentially, this is the main idea. And particles, well, that's a whole nother thing to figure out. Um, Andrew Kramer has plenty of good tutorials at videocopilot.net. But yeah, this is the main idea. So um, that was my tutorial on the Deserted Soldier. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry for not putting videos up very often. I've been pretty busy. I'm going to try to start uploading more stuff, but um, try to get more tutorials out there.